Dr. Incompetent here, and let's play some Underwhale. Alright, so uh, looking at our current position, the sealed door is a no, and it's time to go home. We got a lot of stuff to sell. We can tell uh, the big boss man that we're done with the quest, and so let's do that. Um, I always wonder if there's a quicker way back. Like, what if I did go this way? Does this connect? Oh no. Here come the rat hounds. Alright, that's funny. Okay, well, then let's just do this. I hit myself. I have to understand better how that is working, but whatever. <laughs> I hit myself with a fireball, which is embarrassing, but um, I'm about to kill all these rat hounds. Oh, come on. Get him. This guy's running away. I get it. Alright, where is it? It's right on me. Alright, let me just try to hit it with this crowbar. Uh-oh, I've missed. Well, I can't miss again, so I'm just going to do this. There we go. We got it. Alright, let's end combat. Anything in any remains from Rat Hounds? Uh, there's a big, heavy heart, um, and we'll skip that for now. Alright. So let me check in here. It's locked. That's right. Okay. Let me then... Uh, I'm just going to save it. I have a good amount of Psy, and I want to see what's over here. If I need to use a bandage, I will, um, but if I can save it, I'll also do that. Alright, here's a bunch of stuff. Interesting. Oh, that's right, there's like, there's raiders down there in that camp. Alright, well, let's just stealth over here and try to take the stuff from inside this room. Hacking 35. Well, that's a big no. Alright. Then... Um, they have, like, attack dogs and all kinds of evil stuff. But I did save it. So it might be fun to see if I can handle this. Um, so let me go over here, out of the dog's vision. And then... Just go ahead and use a bandage. Um on myself and then be like okay cool I'm done with that I'm actually going to eat some steak and then stealth and I'm going to save it again just get real wild and see how close this encounter is okay so, if I wanted to start my encounter right now, and say, for example, put a fireball, like, right here, what would happen? They would be hurt, but really not that badly hurt. Um, and that's terrifying. Let's just, um, man. Yeah, now this is, t this, that was the worst opening for a encounter I could possibly do. Fireball is kind of like a massage on those guys, so we won't even do that. Let's try something else. Let's instead try... Um, let's see if I can, like, wander around and find a different access point so here I am uh, center me on the map I'm actually uh, here and then if I go down I think I get back to my base which is tempting I'm just kind of exploring and seeing what I can see
Well, one thing is, are these guys just objectively bad? Yes, as soon as they see me, they come to attack. Okay, I wasn't sure. Well, I'll tell you what. You know who is susceptible? Alright. This guy is crazy. This guy just moved over here and, and then used an ability and ripped off three shots. So he's um, really good. Let me see if I can frighten him. Nah, he resisted. Okay, we're out. Let's go back and do our quests and come back for something like this later. There's no reason to waste my stuff on enemies that are that far superior. Maybe I could do something more clever and take out one target really fast or something, but meh, meh. Why bother when I don't need to? This must be the way back to the other side of that, perhaps. Um, but anyway, let's go here. Let's go back to let's go back to the station. And uh, I'll come out of stealth just to move a little bit faster now. Now that there's no rat hounds to worry about. Okay. So these guys are going to be chipping away at these rocks, probably forever. It's a rough job. Alright, and then... Let me hit the elevator. And just tell Tanner... The good news. Let's go to the commons. And let's skate on over to our man here he is Hadrian Tanner um, I'm done with Gorski's task what next actually there's not much to do around the station at the moment not until the tunnel is clear however there's a way you could speed that up besides helping with the actual digging yourself the station has an old armadillo, armadillo mobile drill. Cool. It used to serve as well, us well for many years, but it's out of commission now. There's something wrong with its rotor circuit board. Harold tried to fix it a couple of times, but it was no use. He reckons that the only solution is to replace it. So I guess you want me to find the replacement circuit board or a merchant that would sell one, yes. Since the train is out and a lot of tunnels have collapsed, there are not many places you can look for it at the moment. Our best bet would be Junkyard. Ever been there? Yeah, I've been there. Good. Here, I'll give you 250 charons. If you bring me back that circuit board and it's in working condition, you can keep all the money. I won't ask how you got it, but if you can't find it, I want the money back. Um deal. I'll be back with the circuit board or with your money. He nods and he hands you the money. Good luck. Also, before you head out, you should go to the administration floor and talk to Vera. I think she has some trade documents that she needs delivered to the United Station Embassy in Junkyard. Oh, wow. How civilized. I didn't think a place like the Junkyard would have bureaucratic facilities, but it does, and that's fantastic. So, Uh, first things first, let's go to medical and psionics. Man, let's talk about what my man, Pascal, is looking to buy. Um, oh, there's more information. We've established the identity of that dead scavenger. His name was Joshua Royce. His brother, Chester Royce, came in recently and collected the body. The two were scavengers. I guess they got separated somehow. Um, where can I find this Chester Royce? I think he's sailed over from Junkyard. You can catch a ferry ride there at the town docks. Okay, so Junkyard, everything's happening there. But whatever, whether he returned there or not, I do not know. And I didn't ask. The whole encounter, he took it hard. Can I talk to the guard who found him? I don't know which of the guards brought him in. Malcolm, the security officer, can help you with that. Okay, um, let's barter. So he wants three medicines 
Six chemicals and three components. Okay. I mean, that's fascinating and all. I need, um... What do I need? What do I need? What are you selling? No, I'm actually okay. Um, on his stuff for the time being. I'll come back after I've crafted. But that's great to get some information on that quest. I've been wanting to progress that. Alright, so then let me go to um, the armory and shooting range and see how many of these guns I can sell. Lucas. Alright, my man. Two firearms, two grenades. Perfect. Um, so let me sell you the most expensive ones first. How much money? Ooh, he has like no money. Mm, it's going to be a problem. Yeah, it's kind of like, well, if you have no money... What am I going to buy from you that's actually good? Hmm... Honestly, nothing. So I'll have to wait until you get some money or try to sell these at Junkyard. Um, let me hit Engineering. See if I can give any of this stuff to these dudes. Ezra, what you looking for? Electric parts, headbands, blueprints, components. Okay. Um, well, you'll buy that, and that, and that, that, um, it's a component. How many components are you going to buy? Three? What about this? Yeah, you'll buy those. Um, let me split this. Can I sell you one? Alright, good. And then... I need this blueprint. I'd have to pay you 50 for it. That's fine. And then... What else is it that you want? Not really anything, okay. Um, what about... Uh, psi abilities. What do you have? Thought control 45? Never mind, I don't have that. I'm at like... 40, is that right? Yeah. All right, let's go ahead and do this. Let me see what it would take to craft a headband. I just need a headband frame and a modulator and some enhancement stuff. All right, interesting. I don't quite have that, but I'll find it. I'm gonna go scavenging really soon. Um, Harold, let's talk. What you looking to buy, dude? Repair kits. Components, armor parts. All right, perfect. This has been in my possession for quite some time. All right, you give me 186. That's pretty good. I'll take it. Um, all right. You know, what I kind of want to do is...
I want to just pick up some cave shrooms and start farming him. Oh, here's Malcolm. Um, open the gate, please. But I had already talked to him about it, about the incident. So I think it's just a matter of going to junkyard. Well, anyway, I'm also going to do some exploration work. There's a lot left to find. Oh, are you going to buy anything? You buying anything, dude? Two lock picking devices and two traps. Well, I actually need to buy lock picking devices from you. Um, what is this? Oh, it's an Omni tool. Yeah, 22 credits is a fair price for something so awesome. save it. I'm going to head out. I think I'm in pretty good shape uh, to fight just like rat hounds and garbage like that. I'm going to look for mushrooms. Psy mushrooms are the wind right now. need those mine shrooms. And that's what I'm going to be trying to gather. Also, my buddy was telling me about trying to get the oddity from the hoppers so I'll put that on the list as well and we can look for that guy's body to make sure that he didn't end up dead on the way back to the junkyard it's possible it's a dangerous it's a dangerous world I should be able to take those spiders too a lot easier um Here's the guard. What's up, dude? How are you? Alright, I'm gonna just um, pause it. And I'm gonna try to just use cryokinesis on a hopper. And on another hopper. Let's just see if we can get the... Uh, Oddity. Meat. Meat. Alright, so I think I probably scared off all hoppers everywhere. Oh, no, there's some. Wow, I hit it with my knife, but it did not die. How embarrassing. Well, that'll kill it. Mm. A heart and some meat. Alright. Fair enough. Let's go this way. And get closer to the goodness... Oh, here's some more. Yeah, I don't get that. I don't understand what happened. See, I hit myself with my own fireball again. Like, what? Is there something in the way that I don't see? What was that? Why did my fireball not work? I, I just do not understand it. Is there a chance that it will not go where it's supposed to go? Whatever. I mean, it's just such a bad result like they're both standing there I can see nothing in front of me that would block that shot and then instead of hitting them it just hit me maybe there's a, like a chance to roll for stuff like that alright mine shroom let's pick this up all day and then let me push enter and then just start throwing frost at these hoppers and try to get that out of the alright 
Oh, this guy wants to fight, huh? Sure, sure, we can fight. Here, what do you think about this? You resisted it, eh? Okay. So what I need to do is just end combat, and then I'm going to need to uh, bandage myself. And then use my inhalant, unfortunately. But what can you do? All right, we're going to save it. And we're going to see if we picked up the oddity. No... Not quite. I think my buddy was telling me it took him 40 <laughs> to get there, so that's quite a lot. All right, perfect. Let's get this carapace and this mine shroom. And then um, there's a building here, right? I think this is where we found our dude. All right, I'm going to save it. All right, so I kind of want to go get mushrooms and so let's let's speed it way up oh now oh, there goes some hoppers i think i'm gonna have to go uh someplace else though to get them so let me just center on me and i'm here so yeah there's mushrooms here i can see them on the map that's actually pretty helpful so let's go up here. Now there might be some of those annoying spiders and such, but I'm gonna see if maybe I can stealth around. There's still some hoppers sometimes over here. Yeah, this is what I want. But I don't know how to get over here. Can I just like, I wonder if, do you get, like, telekinesis or something where you can just, you know, apportate them over to you? It would be nice. Well, anyway, here's Junkyard. So we can head in here. Hopefully they don't blow me away. On site. Um, let me look at the junkyard. No, you can't. There's no exit up here. Alright. Let's go in. I'd love to be able to sell these guns to somebody. God, wouldn't that be nice? Um, let's go over here and see if any of these dudes or people... Oh, she has shrooms. She sells them for quite a lot. But she wants plants or fungi. But I don't really have many to sell her. Oh, man. <laughs> I'm going to spend it. I'm going to spend the money. I have a good amount of money of charons or whatever and these are so good it's ridiculous so if I go to oops, uh, crafting and I want to make this I just need to go into my inventory and then um oh no 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 double click to use the blueprint perfect I wonder why I can't make it. Wait a minute now.
Oh, no, this doesn't count. Oh, because I need three. Right, right, right. So what I have to do first is I have to process um, the plant or fungus, and then I can put that over there, and then these over here, and I can just make as many as I have, and I just need some more of the other stuff, actually. Okay, then we can... Oh my god, I just made three inhalants. I am in heaven. And what does the booster take? It takes three in a syringe. Okay. Uh, then really, I just need some more. Show me what you got, old timer. Two melee weapons, four traps, two other armors, two special bolts. Alright, well. This shock steel combat knife... I might actually want that. Let me sell you some other stuff. So he would give me 55 charons for um, what I'm trying to trade him. Ooh, blueprint for throwing knives would be insane. Yes, please. And then... I need this belt. So now I can get... I can... I can trade all this plus just 22 charons to get this blueprint for throwing knives and this belt. That's... I like it. Um, sweet. So, let me learn this. And then, I mean, having two extra utility slots is amazing. So now I can put some more stuff on my belt. Like, for example, an EMP grenade, a flashbang, and then um, I'll just put this here for now, even though I don't need it. But later we can put another utility on. That's great. What does it take, just out of curiosity, to craft the throwing knife? It just takes metal and potentially poison. Um, so I actually don't have any metal. Maybe I can break break stuff down or something. Anyway, we'll figure that out in a bit. What about you, dude? Oh, he sells metal. Five metal components, three batteries, and padding. All right, what, anything I have? Not really, but he does happen to sell metal. Just steel plates. Mm, but I need 41 mechanics to craft these, so that's out of my depth. All right, but nobody else wants to take guns. I was like hoping there was like a gun trader. What do you do? You're a guard. All right. Well, let me go over here and let me look at my quest. So, oh shoot! I meant to. I needed to talk to Vera. That's a darn shame. All right. Anyway, anybody got the armadillo? No, 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 no! Don't do that! Don't do that! Okay. Shoo. Um, let me see what you got. He's going to buy foodstuffs. No, no, no. I need to actually talk to you. But let me save it because I don't want to accidentally steal something and aggro the entire town. That's bad. Um, heard of a guy named Chester Royce? Yeah, he stops by occasionally. Bald guy, scavenger, kind of tall. Why? Do you know where I can find him? And did he come alone or with someone? Now that you mentioned it, he did always come with another person. 
Except when he came in a day or so ago, he asked me if someone was looking for him, someone called uh, Joshua. Yeah, Joshua, that's the one. This is the first time I've seen him since. He asked me that, then he left. Didn't hang out for long. Think he went south afterwards. Can't be sure. Haven't seen him since. Hmm. Okay. There was something else. Um. Suddenly, I'm not hungry anymore. You'll be back. Oh, will I? All right. Um. Okay. Interesting. What's in here? Who's this dude? Who's Len? Welcome to my little shop. Ah, here's the weapons guy. Show me what you got. Yeah, three firearms. Perfect. All right. Um, let me give you the most expensive ones that I have. Like that one? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. And then firearm parts. You want that? Oh, I got that in spades, dude. Um. Oh, he'll buy boots? Now you're talking. Two boots? Oh, man, yeah. Um... Will you buy knives? Yeah, you will. One melee weapon, just one though. All right, he'll buy a helmet, boot components, and bullets. All right, let me just sell you a bunch of bullets. I got so many bullets, dude. All right, where am I at right now? I'm at like 300, I'm at all of his money for what I have. So let's see if he has anything that I want. Man, he's got some insane armor. It just has a bunch of penalty on it. I can't wear that. These, like, things to protect against bullets are pretty interesting. Ooh, this is... Look at this, 19,000 money. Oh my god, this is ridiculous. What if I put this down here? I could buy it from him for everything plus money that the dude gave me. That's funny. Um, Alright, let me just put that back in your stash and then let's go back to this world. I can't afford that. I'd like it, but... Hmm... Interesting. These steel plates are of less mechanical skill than what I saw before. Hmm. Still not getting enough out. Do you actually sell grenades? Yeah, you've got... Yeah, how many of these will you give me? I can, I can buy five. I can buy that. I can buy this frag grenade. I can buy these grenades. This is great. I'm going to get a bunch of grenades for all this stuff. Um, and 300 coins. That's pretty tremendous, actually. And then if I want to buy something later, I can. Alright, let me go into crafting. And then... Can I make my own knives now? Okay. Um, mechanics 30, which I think I actually have. And then... I can put this poison on there? To make burrow or poison throwing knife. And it it hits them. And it, they're also affected with poison to deal 7 damage. Yeah, this looks really good. So now I can just throw poison knives at people. And I can just put it up here. That is unreal. 
Well, now I'm getting a lot better. Great. Okay. Um, anything else I want in this town? I know I want that drill. I don't know who to talk to about it. I'm going to actually just go ahead and look for... Before I do the drill stuff, because I need to talk to Vera and do all that stuff, I'm going to go down south and just see if I can find that dude. Let's see what happened to him. You know what I mean? They're saying he went down south. I mean, here's the boat, right? Um, can I talk to you? Um, I gotta go. I don't really need a lift right now. I was trying to look for the dude. We look at the map and focus on myself, and I'm here. Yeah, there's nowhere else to go from here. Well, or maybe there is. I just haven't found it. Let me look over here. Just verify that there's no other exits. This is a restricted area. What do you mean? All right, well. Dock worker. Dock worker box. Okay. What about up here? What's going on over here? All right. Here's another screen. Let's see what's over here. Okay, some, there's some thugs. It's getting real seedy. Throw out thugs. Thug, thug, thug. This is like their, their headquarters, it looks like. Um, there's a black eel painted on the wall, so that doesn't look good. Alright, no way to go south over here. I look at the map. I'm here. Hmm. Interesting. Alright, let's go over here. See what we can see. More junkyard. Man, this place is humongous. Vince, a well-knit man steps in front of you, crossing his arms, spreading his, less, his legs slightly apart. Simultaneously, he addresses you with a light, raspy voice. Hold it right there, Jack. This here alley belongs to us. You want to pass through, you got to pay a one-time fee. Mm-hmm. Uh, I don't need to pay any fees. You're gonna pay like everyone else. Besides, what's a couple shinies for USGS folks? So what's the fee? It's five charons. Um, that's a lot of money. Um, forget it. I'll find another way around. Ain't no other way around. Well, there might not be another way around. But... I don't know if I want to just pay you money. Just to walk around this... Terrible town. Okay, let's go over here. And we're back in the junkyard. Alright, so I need to go back and get Vera's request. I also need to... Um, try to get some information about this drill. Try to find Chester Royce... And I'd love to find if there's a psionics dealer somehow in this town. Probably not, but it would be cool. But we'll take care of that in the next episode. I am just super, super happy about um, how we have come out way ahead on grenades and money. 
and inhalants and everything, and I feel like I'm actually making significant progress with this character and can do some things. I hope you guys have an excellent evening or day, and I'll check you in the next episode of Let's Play Underrail. Take care.